the biggest rides you've ever done? Oh, I guess so. Um, it wasn't a great result at the end, but you know, it was, uh, it was just survival out there and attrition, and it was nasty, and it was easier for me to go hard because you know, you know, I had to uh, show USA Cycling that I deserved the, the spot after they put the faith in me for the. You know, they had a lot of faith to select me in the first place when I've had such a volatile fall season, and uh, especially in my September. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been less than ideal, so I had a lot of motivation to, to show that I deserve it. And then, uh, you know, just uh, leave it all out there and, and for my dad and everything, so. Is that on your mind in the race? Yeah, actually, I was suffering a lot because I was off the back the whole race. I did the first four laps by behind the field because it was just awesome. you catch back on and then there's another crash and you chase for half a lap. And so I just did like a, a steady hard time trial for four laps. And then I kept coming back. I was surprised. And, uh, and then you attacked with yeah. four to go. And then I figured we're Americans and we got to go down blazing instead of just fizzle out like, a, you know, so I went, I swung for it and then Everyone else was pretty tired too, I guess, so we were able to hang in there, and Alex and I were able to represent as much as we could. And yeah, I got the, the sticker on my bike that helped, you know, I said, De Alomiti, it's a sticker on my top yeah, too, yeah, because yeah. he was training for the Dolomites, so instead of Dolomites, it's De, De Alomites. And, uh, yeah, so I, you know, I, I was able, I was able to sell more. 270K in the rain. World championships, 200 guys in the field, yeah, yeah, okay. no radios. I mean, that, is that one of the hardest days of your career? It was just mayhem. I was, uh, I was over 7,000 kilojoules, so I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to just take one quick uh, 